Hello citizens and welcome back. In today's video I'm going to talk about the sunsetting of the Hornet Mark 1 and what it might mean for other ships in the future. As always, if you like this video, sacrifice a like and a comment to the YouTube algorithm and subscribe for more. And here's a shout out to our amazing patrons for their support of the channel and the armory. With the recent release of the Anvil Hornet Mark II, we all assumed that the Mark I and the Mark II would coexist and both be available for purchase in-game and for real money. But according to a recent official announcement, this is not true. The Mark I will be retired from in-game stores and the Pledge Store and won't be available for purchase after Invictus. Now, there are a few caveats to this. The ship will remain flyable and the owners will still have access to it and it will be earnable in the game through events and missions. The Mark I will also receive a gold standard pass and it will be tuned and balanced as needed. So really not much has happened besides that it can no longer be purchased. At least on the surface. Along with this change, CIG are also reducing the in-game availability of some of the bespoke parts for the Hornet, specifically the turret mounts. This is not a massive change, but it does make things more complicated for players who own the Mark I and might be looking for spare parts. However, there might be some greater implications and concerns. This might have been a one-time thing. After all, there was some talk of the Mark II replacing the Mark I some years back when it was originally announced. In which case this is fine from a mechanical standpoint. Some people might also argue that CAG didn't want to maintain two almost identical ships at the same time. But the Mark I will remain flyable and maintained moving forward, so they have to do that anyway. On the other hand, not having Mark I and Mark II variants in the store at the same time might remove some confusion, especially for new players or players who haven't been around for the release of the Mark II. But overall, there is no strong reason these two ships should or shouldn't exist side by side. But what if this is not a one-time thing? With the Hornet, it was known for a while that the Mark II variant is being made and it will eventually replace the Mark I. At least from a lore perspective, we didn't exactly expect it to be gone from the stores as well. So what stops CAG from, for example, creating a Constellation Mark II and discontinuing the existing Connie? Well, in theory, nothing. But in practice, it would be a bit counterproductive to try to make new versions of existing ships since the ship pipeline is pretty busy as it is. I would maybe expect this to happen post-release, similar to what Elite Dangerous is doing now with the Python Mark II. The big concern here is, as always, marketing and sales. Pulling a ship from sale creates the ultimate case of artificial scarcity. And with the Hornet Mark II, we saw CAG exploited to the fullest with more than the usual amount of FOMO, which I think is what backers are upset about more than the sunsetting of the Hornet Mark I. In the grand scheme of things, removing a ship from the store is not that big of a deal. Especially since the current owners are given an opportunity to either keep their Mark 1s or to upgrade to the Mark 2. On the other hand, there is a fear that in the future CAG could try to pull certain ships from sale even without creating a Mark 2 replacement. In practice, this would probably not work. I would say that the Hornet situation is a very specific case. In the future, removing a ship from sale without replacing it with a Mark II variant would probably actually result in a loss of profit. So is this going to happen again? Probably not. As far as I know, there are no other ships in the pipeline that are designed as a replacement for an existing ship. And like I said before, doing so would require a lot of effort from an overextended team. So I don't think we will see any more Mark IIs of ships in the near future. But CAG should also consider decreasing the intensity of their marketing campaigns. And with that being said, that's all for today. What do you think? Will CAG replace more ships in the future or is this just a one-time thing? Let me know in the comments. Thank you for watching, fly safe and I will see you in the verse.